Hi, kindergarten. Are you guys ready for your zoo work? Are you ready? Okay. Let's take a look at our poem again real quick, okay? Uh, trip to the zoo. Now, see if you can picture what I'm saying in your head, okay? Are you ready? Uh, trip to the zoo. The, the zoo is an amazing place where tigers yawn and lions pace, where monkeys swing and pandas climb, where peacocks strut and snakes unwind, where sleepy elephants chomp on hay, where seals and otters play and play. So many animals, big and small, I love to watch them one and all. Okay, kindergarten. Did you see the lazy elephant chomping on the hay? Did you picture the otters playing? Did you picture the, the um, who was pacing? Oh, the lions pacing back and forth. Mrs. Castellano loves that poem. That's one of my favorites that we do. Okay, kindergarten, let's take a look at our zoo map today, okay? Are you ready? Okay, you guys have this, right? Some of you have it, but let's take a look anyways, okay? So here is, um, what was this called on our map? Do you guys remember? Hmm. Do you remember what it was called? I'm look better. better here. Okay. What is that called? Did you say compass rose? That's right. The compass rose tells us north, east, south, and west. It tells us the directions of things. These are directional words. Um, it also tells us Northeast, if it's in between, if we want to go in this direction, like this road right here, that'd be northeast. If we wanted to go this way, it'd be southeast on this map. If we wanted to go this way, it'd be southwest. If we wanted to go this way, it'd be northwest. Um, remember, Mrs. Castellano says, never eat soggy worms. I also heard never eat shredded wheat. Okay, and this part of a map is called a map key. It tells you where things are on the map. So if we wanted to find a picnic table because we wanted to go have a picnic together kindergarten, we would come into the zoo entrance and we would go north. See, I'm going in this direction, this way. I'd go north and then I would go east. Or I could go all the way north and I could go west, right? And there's the picnic table area. Kindergarten, what if I wanted to go find the polar bears? Okay, so I'd start, well, you don't always start, but if I was if I was here and I, and I came to the zoo and I wanted to go see the polar bears, I would come in and I would go this direction, which is north. First kindergarten, actually, I'd have to find the pol where the polar bears are on the map. Do you see where the polar bears are on the map? Did you say over here? You're right. So I would come in, I'd go up Wildcat Lane, and this whole road is called Polar Bear Parkway, and I would make, and I would go east on polar bear parkway and i would get to the polar bears okay kindergarten now let's pretend i'm over here at the polar bears but i really 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 want to see the birds hmm where are the birds the first thing i have to do is find the birds on the map so i have the polar bears oh there they are they're way over here on the corner of caterpillar circle and sky view lane okay sky view lane does this weird road thing okay so i'd have to Leave the polar bears, and I'd have to go west. See, west is this way. I'd go west along Polar Bear Parkway, and then I would go this direction. Hmm, which one of these lines goes this way? Oh, this one, northwest. I would go northwest on Skyview Lane, and then I could be right there with the birds. Oh, no, kindergarten. Jesse has to go to the bathroom. Let's find the closest bathroom. Let's see. Oh, that's the bathroom looks like. Oh, there's one. Okay, so I'd come out of the birds. I'd go north on Caterpillar Circle. I would go east. Oh, it's a big circle, right? I go north and I go east, and there's the bathroom for Jesse. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Okay. Oh, kindergarten. Do you know what? We really want to, um, to go see the elephants. Do you see where the elephants are? So let's see. Oh, there's the elephants right there. Let me find the elephants up here. Do you see the elephants, kindergarten? <gasps> Did you say right there? Yeah. Okay, so here I'm in the bathroom. I have to go south. South points that way. I have to go south and Caterpillar Circle. Which direction goes that way, kindergarten? Hmm. Which one goes that way? Oh, east, because look, it points to the east. 
I'm going to go east, and then I'm going to go north on Fir Tree Avenue. And then I have to go northeast to get to the elephant. See, because northeast points this way. That's what I have to do. Okay, kindergarten, then we just took a little trip. Tomorrow we're going to play a little bit of the game, but I want you to see if you can do your map. Okay, so if you go to map, you have this, and you have this. Okay? If you want to put the key in down here, you can. You can. But if you want to just put these things um, on your map, you can. Look, you can cut them out, and you can glue them. And, but you have to make sure you cut the lines, okay? So you, you can make your own map, kindergarten, if you want to. Put your name on it, like, you know, Elodie's map or Daniel's map, you know, uh, Zachary Zoo map, whatever, okay? Um, you know, Ellie June, all of you, I miss you guys all so much. Okay, okay, kindergarten. So besides our map, today is Wednesday. Wednesday we do word book. This is an old student, okay? So Mrs. Castellano is using this book. You gotta find the page. Z is at the end of the alphabet. Oh, I'm on P. I gotta keep going. Gotta keep going. Oh, keep going. Okay. Oh, X. I'm almost there, guys. I'm almost there. Oh, my fingers stopped working. Oh, there's Z. There's Z. Our very first Z word is Zachary. So we have to make a capital Z for Zachary, right? Because that's his name. So we go across. Two, three. Zachary. And then our next word is zoo, z, ooh. And then our next word is zero. And then our next word is zigzag. Zigzag has a hyphen in it. Zig, zag, zigzag. Do you guys remember what a zigzag is? So now I'm gonna color my pictures. Hmm, Zachary. I wonder if your favorite color is still black, Zach. But I'm going to pretend your favorite color still is black. Okay, Mrs. Kessel has to get all her crayons out. Okay, I'm going to give Zachary a head. And Zachary has these beautiful brown eyes, and he has brown hair, has some ears, and he has a nose. And Zachary loves to smile. Love it when Zachary smiles. And I'm going to give Zachary a black shirt because, you know, that's uh, that was his favorite color for a long time. So... But there we go. There's my picture of Zachary. Let's give Zachary some hands. Oh, so handsome. Okay, zoo. Wow, well, kindergarten. You could draw whatever you want the zoo. Mrs. Castellano is going to draw like a fence and maybe like a big zoo sign. Z O O. Make my fence like this. I'm going to put some grass in my picture. You guys can draw whatever animals you want to. Oh, well, there's a zoo. I'd hope it'd be a, like a sunny day. So I'm going to put a sun in the sky. You guys can draw some animals. Mrs. Castellano is not very talented at drawing animals, but I will draw it. Let me see. Let's get let's get a tiger in there. Tigers have stripes, right? Some eyes. Some stripes on my tiger. What else can I put in there? Um... Um, let's see, Mrs. Castellano will draw a bear. How about that? Give some, give some bear some eyes, and a nose, and let's, let's make him a smiling bear, huh? Okay, there's Mrs. Castellano's zoo. Zero! I'm going to make my favorite color, and I'm going to draw a zero. And a zigzag. You can do lots of zigzags. Zigzags are like this. Zig, zigzag. Zig, zigzag. Zig, zigzag. I might do a couple just different color zigzags. It's kind of like a Z. Like a zigzag Z. Or like lightning bolt, you know. Zigzag. Zig, zig, zigzag. It could be. It doesn't have to be that short. It could be like zig, 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 zig. Zig, 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 zig. Okay, kindergarten. And then we have our zebra over here. Mrs. Castellano is just going to color in his, um, his stripes. I got to do my, I got to slow my hand down. It's going too fast. I'm going outside the lines, kindergarten. Okay. 
There is my zebra and my zipper. I'm making my zipper this color. So kindergarten, that's what you're going to do in your word book today. Uh, make sure you sign in. Make sure you sign in every day with your sentence, with your new sight words in and there. Okay, kindergarten, Mrs. Castellano has finished coloring. Okay, and the last thing we have to do today is our math. So you're going to need your math book. We're going to turn to page 111. Okay, so I'm going to a big chunk. Oh, well, I'm at 108, but that was yesterday's, so i got to keep turning. Oh, here we go. We're on page 111. Oh, Jesse, did you want to do something today, honey? Sure. Want to do some math? Okay. I don't like it. Okay. I know you like math. Well, we're gonna. I'm gonna get a pencil, huh? We always do math pencil. Okay. Okay. So right here it says complete the number bonds and the number sentence. So Jesse, the first thing we do is subtraction. What's the first thing we have to do? Um, you have to well count. You have to count the whole group, right? Yeah. You so can you count can you count can you count those fish? All of them? one fish, two fish, three fish. Yeah, can I show you something? With kindergarten, I, I, I asked kindergarten to cross off like this. So they don't okay. be confused. So. Okay, that makes sense. Can I can do that. One. One, two, mm. three, four, five. Oh, so there there's five fish there's in a the five. tank. Um, how many green fish are there, Jesse? There is one green so fish. So five and a one. So what number do you think we need to put there? So five minus one equals what? Well. Okay, so if we cross if we cross this guy out, he's gone. How many fish are left, Jess? One second. Um, there are four blue fish left. Mm -hmm. I'm right for there. So I might not be very good. That's okay. Dry. So that means five minus one equals four. Okay, thank you. Um, so here we're I think we're looking at the windows on the house. Can you can you count them all? There's one window. Two window, three window, four window, five oh, windows. Oh, so there's our five. We started with five. So it's, it's saying we have two. What do you think the two means? Two circle windows. One, two. So how many circle? How many windows are left? There's three square windows left. One, One two, two, three. three. Can you write a three? Oh. Yeah, I know it like this, huh? Yeah. I'm not very okay. good at writing them, so yeah. It's okay. There we go. So, let's read this sentence together, Jess. Five, Five. minus two equals three. Good job, Jesse. Okay, we got one more page, okay? Thanks for your help today. Okay. So, what do you think we have to do on this page, Jesse? I think we have to count the red blocks and the blue blocks. But we're doing subtraction, so what do we need to do first? We need to count... We need to count... All of them. All the blocks first. Can so you do that? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, so there's the five. So what do you think the three is for? The three, I think the three is for the red. One, two, three. So how many do we have left? Oh, wait, I have an idea. Don't tell them. See if they can figure it out. Ooh, okay? okay? Okay, kindergarten, you have to do this one by yourself, too, okay? So see if you can figure out how to fill those in. Can't give you all the answers. No. Okay. So kindergarten, if you have trouble with that, you let me know, okay? And I will help you. So you're going to do page 111 and 112 today, okay? So that's three things you need to do. Um, unless you don't have, you can't print off the map. That's totally fine. But do your, oh, you have to do your, your um, word book, your math, and sign in, okay? And do the zoo if, if you can. Okay. Bye, kindergarten. Have a great day. Love you.